guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul where I show you everything that I find week after week at my local Dollar Tree on a weekly basis. So this week guys, it was not all that. I did find a few items uh, that I hadn't seen before and things that I have saw some people haul. But because of that, I am going to go ahead and kick off my February full of giveaways. So essentially every single week on my Dollar Tree haul, I'm gonna ask you a question and you have to answer that question down in the comments. Of course, you do have to be subscribed to me. Um, yeah, but we'll get into all of that later. I want to tell you guys all about it. But first, let me show you what I picked up this week at the Dollar Tree. And of course, I did snap a few pictures of some items that I thought you guys would wanna see that I did not necessarily need. The candle section was off the hook. I took a video clip of that there were so many great new candles I've never seen before I'm not a Dollar Tree candle fan at all even if you told me it was good I wouldn't buy it I just think they're so little and it's kind of a waste for me personally but I know a lot of people really love those candles so I did take a little video clip anyway let's jump on in guys now I always find somebody to watch as like my inspo or my inspiration for my hauls um, and I get stuck on the same youtubers for like a few weeks or a few months at a time and I'll watch all of their content and then I'll switch and I'll watch a whole bunch of other people and not really watch the other ones anymore it's like the YouTube cycle but I stay subscribed to everybody and I check in every now and again but I definitely go through cycles with people even with like family vloggers there's some that I'll watch like all of their videos and then I'll stop for a while and then jump back in but anyway my most recent Dollar Tree inspo has been Madison Pippins I mentioned her in the past few videos she uploads her weekly Dollar Tree haul on Wednesdays so that's about a day or two before I hit up my store and upload my haul so I always like to watch her hauls because we do like a lot of the you know the same things and I did pick up one thing that she got that I definitely wanted to find and there was one thing I couldn't find and that was the goof off but anyway let's jump in guys I don't want to leave you hanging anymore the first item I found is this Scott toilet paper it is preferred over angel soft it's the Scott brand comfort plus so it is a four pack I thought that it was a decent price I picked up five of these only because you know I used to be a couponer and I don't anymore and I'm all out of paper goods so I'm always trying to find good deals I do prefer Scott but I actually prefer yeah, I prefer like the original 1000, this one there. This one certainly will do, and I think that if there's more next week, I'll definitely pick up some more. Okay, so what do we have now? Oh yeah, some Gushers. So I did find, no, Fruit by the Foot and Gushers. Now I only bought two packs of each. I bought two of each because it's a really great deal, but I'm not sure about the sweet and fiery. So you have fiery peach and spicy watermelon. So I don't know if you guys know noticed but like skittles is coming out with spicy skittles everywhere everywhere is doing like this fruity spice kick but these are no exception so you get six in here for a buck which is really great um if you look at your grocery store prices and then also the gushers we get six in here as well my store had a ton of these i sent them to a lot of my local friends just to say like hey if your kids like gushers michael will probably like the spicy sweet flavor so we'll see plus of course there are box tops so i love collecting box tops like one of my favorite things another thing i found are these cute little puffs it's a little headband uh at the end there is one more color i took a picture of but jordan always wears cat ears i'll insert a picture of her like cat ears are her staple but i thought maybe on the weekends i could get her to wear this one so it has like these and guys they're so soft like pink and teal really really cute oh i got some fuzz off of it yeah anyway speaking of the kids they both needed new loofahs i don't like to buy them super expensive loofahs i mean a loofah is a loofah so i did pick up michael a blue one and jordan a purple one just to kind of replenish that they've been using the wash rags and they're not a fan you know these children these days they're so dang spoiled they need a loofah so as i said i didn't find the goof off that madison found she found the one that's for getting like stickers off of different things you know if you put a sticker on the back of like a tennis shoe or a piece of like tub or whatever a sticker comes on i really wanted that for my ebay kit when i'm taking pictures and stuff didn't find that but i did find the oil and grease remover gel 
So I wasn't even going to pick this one up, guys. But then as I was reading it, okay, I had to make sure I wasn't blurry. As I was reading it, it says removes greasy food stains. And then, of course, automotive grease, oil, and tar asphalt, crayon, and candle wax. So it works on hard and soft surfaces. So really excited to add this to the eBay kit. And that's not bad for a buck, you know? Yeah, it's pretty good. But I also picked up another one of the goo and adhesive remover. Um, now this one, it says remove sticky, gummy, gooey messes. Now I will tell you, this one smells like that orangey citrus smell and it does not uh, get it off the same as like the one that smells like straight chemicals, like acetone that comes in the metal tin. This one doesn't do as good of a job as getting off like permanent marker on the bottom of the ten tennis shoes that I buy from Goodwill and stuff like that. So I keep that for more like if glue spills during crafts or something like that. But yeah, picked up two goof off items. Now one of the other things I picked up that Madison got are these acrylic trays. You can see it does say hello there. So even like um, Madison was saying, she could use her goof off to get that sticker up if she had a problem. So this one's a really cute organizer. I picked up one of these, it just says hello. And then I picked up two of the hello with the pineapple. Now they, and this one's a square and this one's a rectangle, but they did have ones that had like a little camera and it said like selfie or snap or cheese or something like that. But I didn't want that one and that one wasn't done in pink. It was done in like a greenish blue. But yeah, I picked up two of these, one for the giveaway and one for Gina if she wants it because I always pick up pineapple stuff for my girl Gina. Now I picked up four of these heathered I think that's kind of like heathered picture frames for my work we're trying to pick up followers at the spa so we figured to get those younger you know millennials to follow us on instagram because that is the way of the world now when i first started doing hair you would advertise in like newspapers or baltimore magazine now you have to advertise on like instagram and facebook it's all about social media so i figured instead of just having like a piece of paper on the wall saying follow us we could make them and put them in these nice frames um and have them set out like on my station, at the front desk, in the bathroom, you know, stuff like that. And then we also have one frame at work that's a little bit bigger. So I bought one of these frame holders. Now I will say guys, and you'll see a picture later, Dollar Tree has stepped up their home goods area, like as far as different um, canisters or like pillar holders, little things for like candles and all of that. There's so many different things and some of them are really nice. I just don't have a use for them, so I didn't pick any up. But keep an eye out if you need some home decor things. Dollar Tree is definitely hooking it up, like no joke. Now I did pick myself up some more Kiss Nails in the nude pink. I really like the short and you'll see here where it says short you know if you don't want anything that looks like too long if it gets snagged on things definitely look for the short i picked up a couple that were not short i think they were medium and they were a little bit too long i like the short because it basically just looks like a manicure like it doesn't have like too much free edge and it really doesn't get in my way with like taking pictures of stuff for eBay and Poshmark or at work doing hair. So definitely love those kiss nails. They're totally worth it. Now while I was looking at those nails, I came across some new children's fashion nails. Now they're super cute. So these ones are like bunnies and a bear or and it has like flowers and hearts. I honestly don't know if she will use them, but if Jordan's not into those nails, I will offer them to the giveaway winners. Maybe they'll have a little girl, um, but I got her two more as well. As I started looking, never only look at the first thing hanging up at the Dollar Tree, because there's always other ones behind that first one. They don't always put the same color all the way through. So I found these all the way at the back. They're more like a kind of watercolor tie-dye look, but they're really cute. I think she's really gonna like them. And then last but not least for her, I got the little, I think they're like little bulldogs or I'm not sure, but it has stripes and hearts and glitter. They're really cute. 
Like, what? I feel like saying shut up Dollar Tree like Nicole Burgess does because these are so stinking cute, especially for little girls. Like, they love that kind of little stuff. Now, speaking of makeup, I did pick up one of the Wet n Wild mascaras. I wasn't going to. I was just going to take a picture for you guys. But for a buck, I picked this up to give to, like, the homeless women I see. As you guys know, I've said it before, I keep stuff in my car to give out um, when they ask for money and stuff if I don't have any change or even if I do have change, I'll ask them if they need socks or gloves or a hat. But I know the girls always like like body sprays and something to make them feel good. So I thought this mascara would do the trick for that. So I picked up one of these, plus for a dollar, I mean, it's pretty good. Now, Rick and I started looking up storage auctions online where people who don't pay up their storage units, um, you can bid on them and win them. So I'm not trying to get anything crazy that has a bunch of stuff, but just something small for us to get started, get our feet wet. Well, because of that, we definitely need some gloves if and when we win our first unit and these were nice they're safety gloves one size fits most and they're very durable they're like a bright yellow and the other side has like the rubber grippies so I picked up two packs of these one for Rick and one for myself I really hope that we win a storage locker that we want I'm really excited I've been eyeing them up every day there's one locally that I really want it only has a $10 bid on it but it still has six days to go so we'll see but I'm definitely going to film it if and when we do get our first storage locker I picked up another one of these Comet multi-surface sprays in Meadow Fresh my store oftentimes gets this one and then the lavender lilac or the lilac or just lavender. I'm not sure, but it's actually pretty good. And for a dollar, they don't have it all the time. So when they do, I definitely pick it up. I think it's pretty good. I squirt out the sink with it or the countertops along with these Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes are my absolute jam. I love them so much. They come in handy for literally everything. Last item, and then we'll talk about the giveaway, guys, are these Papermint Ink Joy pens. So last week, my store had a ton of Papermint products, and they did not have these out. But this week, they did, so I went ahead and picked them up, and I'm pretty sure they have black ink. No, they actually are the color of the pen, so pink, green, blue, and purple. But I'm fine with that, especially for, like, my planner. And then I'm always picking the kids up lead pencils, so I picked them each up a pack. They don't always have these Bic ones. There's five in here, and they're just the basic Bic lead pencils. You know, these kids go through pencils like nobody's business, and my kids are really bad at letting me know. Like, they will go through school without pencils instead of just saying, hey, mom, I need some pencils. I have so much stuff from like Office Depot sales and the back to school sales that they just have to tell me and the pencils are theirs. <laughs> but they've been loving lead pencils so I definitely picked them up. Okay, now let's get onto the giveaway and then I'll insert all the pictures and that candle video. So yes, I was thinking in the shower like what can I do for the giveaway instead of just doing like one winner or one huge lot. I thought, you know what, February is a pretty short month. There's probably four weeks. I haven't really planned it out yet. <laughs> But I was thinking that every week I will ask a question and then everybody will answer that question down in the comments and then I'll do a random comment generator to pick one of the comments and then that will be the winner for that week which I will announce the following week as well as giving you a peek into what they have won. So what you're going to win which you will see week after week will be a mix of all of the items that I haul. So things that are really sought after like those pet egg, no those um those pedicure things what are they a mopey or something those came out like last year uh the moodles books all the different coloring books cray i mean uh stickers i mean everything that is dollar tree related that i've ever gotten the bolero the wipes the i mean guys the possibilities i have so much stuff i've been hauling dollar tree stuff for my channel for over a year probably a year and a half so i have so much stuff accumulated that I just don't need. Now there won't be any food in there, like I'm not gonna send any of that, but all of the like cutesy stuff that we get at the Dollar Tree, the notebooks, yeah, all of that good stuff. So like I said, once you guys comment and answer the question down below, the following week before my Dollar Tree video, I will confirm that you're subscribed. Um, and if you have an Instagram, please follow my eBay store and Poshmark 
closet on Instagram. I would really appreciate that. I know not everybody has Instagram, but I've been trying to be more active on that page. So please follow that. I'll put it right here on the screen. I would really, really appreciate it. I'll also put a link down below in the description. So guys, thank you for listening. I'm sorry that was a little long winded. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer you. I also added a new e email in my description box so I do not have to sift through that old email email that had so much junk in it. Now I have a fresh new email. So if you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to email me at any time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you want to enter this giveaway. Oh, I almost forgot. The question this week is, where in the country do you live and what is the weather like? Because I've seen so many people on Instagram that are in like, like their towns have shut down. Now it's been really cold here as well. It's been getting down to like four degrees where it feels like negative 15, um, but not like the Midwest. Like I'm in Baltimore, Maryland, so the Midwest definitely got the brunt of it. So yeah, just comment that down below. Let me know where you're from and what the weather's like. How cold is it? Is it windy, snowy, rainy, what have you? And I will definitely pick a winner for next week, show you what you'll be getting, and show you what I find next week at the Dollar Tree. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.